All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for coming back to Stay Slick. Today is episode one of Gimmick or Genius. And I'm gonna talk about something that I think is kind of split. Some people think that they're gimmicks, some people think that it could be genius. And the first thing that I wanna talk about today is the four ounce detail spray gun. This is from Sensual Pneumatic at uh, Harbor Freight. So this is a very inexpensive, small gun. It's meant for paint, but you may have seen a lot of people using this for interior dressings. You may have been uh, seeing them use it for tire shine, which is what I use it for. So today I wanna talk about how I use this thing and whether I think that it is a gimmick or it's genius. So go ahead and stick around. All right, so what do I use this for? Uh, I mainly use this for tire shine. That's pretty much all I use it for actually. And I use it strictly on off-road mud tires with a, a lot of sidewall uh, tread and, and things like that that are harder to get into with a detail brush without just loading those knobs up with a bunch of extra tire shine that's just gonna sling down the paint on the side. So I've been experimenting with this for the past month or so, and I really, really enjoy it, like I said, for all-terrain tires. All right, so here's gonna be our first example for today. Yes, it's a trailer tire. Uh, yes, it's smooth. You can use this for any type of tire you want, but I really think, like I said, where this shines is in uh, knobby tires or things with a lot of intricate designs. So you don't miss spots, you know, when you're trying to get in the letters and, and all of that. So you're gonna wanna have an air compressor. Just connect it straight to it. I've got this filled with, decked out by Shine Supply one-to-one. -one. Okay, so before I start, I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. But when you spray this, it, the cloud goes everywhere. So you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind that this is gonna have overspray. Uh, usually you can't see it, but there may be some overspray on your vehicle. Definitely gonna be a little bit on the wheel, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and go in and get started. Sorry gopro cut out right there so as you can see there is a nice healthy layer of tire shine on here now you see there's a little bit of white here you're gonna have to go back and knock that down but what a perfect even application it got on this tire so that's the first example let me go show you another example on my truck on these knobby tires right here so example two these are uh 33 12 and a halfs they are uh, all-terrain tires, Venom Powers, and they got a lot of knobs on the side. So you'll see here, I'll take you in. There are a lot of knobs and areas that it's hard to get in, even with a brush. Okay, so I wanna talk about uh, the different knobs and things that are on this. Um, I could get these knobs wrong, so forgive me if I do, but you're gonna have a couple of knobs here. Um, right here is gonna be your spray. Let me get it in there. So this is gonna be the direction of the spray sideways, believe it or not, is like this. And the other way, if you turn it this way, is gonna spray it sideways. So the spray is the opposite of the way that these go. So you have this, so you can adjust the way that you wanna spray it. This right here is just for your tank, which is where you fill it up. This right here, I believe this one is for the amount of product. This one is for your spray pattern for how wide and narrow it goes. And this one on the bottom, I believe this one right here is for the amount of air. So you mix the air and the product and then you find how wide of a pattern you have. I believe I have it on the widest pattern just because I want to be able to cover the most space possible and have it be a, a even coat. So you're gonna have to find your own fine tune uh, depending on the type of air compressor that you have. Unfortunately, I can't do that for you. You're gonna have to find it yourself. All right, guys, there you have it. The Central Pneumatic four ounce adjustable detail spray gun from Harbor Freight. Uh, I definitely think everybody should pick this up. Uh, why not just experiment with it? It's only 15 bucks, like I said. 
it's just a, it's a nice tool to have. You can use it to uh, dress plastics if you want, uh, like on the bumpers and the grills or there's any kind of intricate areas. You can use it to dress the interior. I wouldn't do that just because this produces so much of a cloud of product around where you're spraying it. I wouldn't want to do that on the interior, but there's some people that do it. So uh, it's, it's out there, you know. All right, thank you guys so much for coming back to another video. Appreciate you guys. Go ahead and stick around. I'm gonna have a couple more videos coming out pretty soon talking about the subjects that you guys voted on uh, on my YouTube. So if you're not subscribed or if you don't pay attention, turn on the bell notification because I do different polls on what you guys might wanna see on the community tab. Uh, at least every couple weeks or so, I kind of get a feel for what you guys are wanting to see. So that way you guys have input on the channel about what you're gonna see and then I'm not just throwing videos out that you're not interested in. Thank you to all you guys. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to my Stay Slick fam. Appreciate you guys as always. Peace out. Stay slick.